I'm sitting uh, down. Very relaxing setup today. <laughs> Hey everyone, Miranda here. Today I just really wanted to sit down with a coffee. I can't really see, I don't want to tip it out. And just tell you guys where I've been, what's been happening, my updates, because I feel like I just haven't made a video in a long time. This video is not going to really be that edited. It's not going to be anything special. End up sitting through the whole thing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just really wanted to just update you guys about where I'm at, what I'm doing, new videos that I really want to do, and just why it's taken me ages, I guess, to make content, you know, where I'm at with everything. It's been a while, and the year has flown by so quickly. The whole theory that the Earth, uh, Earth, Earth <laughs> is moving faster. I believe it's so true because I feel like days are just getting shorter. Is anyone with me on this theory? I love conspiracy theories like Mm, mm. But I'm not a flat earth person. I do believe the earth is round, but I will say that I do believe days are getting shorter and time's going much quicker. The last video that I posted was to do with Ribsat and Ribsat ended. It was in January. It's been a really weird year. It's just weird stepping away from booktube for four years, coming back. You know, you're really in it. You're really out there. You're really getting content up and then just stepping away from it again because of work, you know, and work filling up when I want to film, I want to make videos again. And it's just like real life and starts coming back in. I was obviously on booktube. So I was like 17 years of age. <laughs> I went on like a bit of a hiatus for a few years where I wasn't making videos, only like two here and there. For me, coming back to booktube, I believe, was just wonderful. Like, I loved it. It gave me something to look forward to in the lockdown. Like, in the first lockdown and the second lockdown that we had for three months it was a real lifesaver because I could still make content from home. Um, I got to actually read again. When you have full-time job and work and commitments, just how little time you have for the things that you really enjoy. And booktube was a massive part of my life for so many years and it brought me so so much joy every now and then I watch people's videos and my friends on booktube etc so it, it, it just brings me sadness that like life has gotten in the way again and now I'm sitting here filming this video I shouldn't put the pressure on myself and I should be like no Miranda it's gonna be okay but I'm a person I'm a bit of an over committer doing so much um, on various different platforms as a content creator I had filmed videos I had filmed so many videos and literally those videos like my ribsat wrap up I filmed that after ribsat was over I had it done and I filmed like four other videos and they've just been sitting there and I just have not had the time to literally sit down and edit them. When I edit videos, I like getting into it. It's time consuming, especially when you're not getting paid for it and doing it as a hobby. And it's like, how much do I put into it without it overtaking me? Because I remember it did overtake me for a bit and I got very overwhelmed. Ugh. Back then it was different because I was a bit younger, but it felt like everything was down to the subscriber. You know, like everything was down to how many subscribers are watching, being picked on and bullied. Oh, that person's doing better. You're not catching up and you know, you're making more videos, but yet they're getting more attention. Like what, what is it? You know, what is it with me? I work in retail, number one, most of the week. I have my own business in motorsport media. And that's very time consuming because I deal with clients pre-shoot on the shoot and then post shoot and you know running a team and then I also do content creation for brands and then you got to live a life as well and then by the time you come back to this and getting stuff out there I love doing it but mate it's time consuming I to have at least two videos up on my channel a month maybe even one until like I'm on holidays or I have a break where I can be like okay more consistent because what I really love doing as of lately on my social media is combining everything and that's something I really want to start doing on my Instagram like, you know, put some of my book two videos there behind the scenes, etc. Yeah, another one of my endeavors that has obviously taken up a lot of my time that I haven't really spoken about a lot to people on booktube, maybe here and there, but not a lot throughout the years is I'm currently writing. I am writing. I have been writing ever since I was about 12 years old. Um, and the ideas that I had back then, I'm obviously expanding on them, you know, as, cause as you get older as well, you know, you think of different things, you have life experiences and you can incorporate them into what you, you write. Writing for quite a while. Really my goal is to have something published in 2022 or 2023 and I would absolutely love to share that on booktube and with you guys and I'm a bit closer to accomplishing that goal because that has been something that's been a lifelong thing for me. So passionate as you can see by my bookshelf about fantasy and just 
living in another world. I'm so passionate about that. And it's not just a book, it's a series. And it's just one series, it's multiple. One of my three goals, because I have three goals in my lifetime. And one of those goals is to get all my works published, to make them into a Netflix series, because that'd just be epic. This goal though is something that is not easily achievable. Can manifest it, but I don't know if it's coming true. Third is to obviously build up my business and my self brand image to be the best it can be. I don't care whatever that is to keep me stable and to keep, you know, a solid income and to be the best it can be. So they're my three goals in life that I've had probably since I was probably 18, 19 years of age. On 25, it's um, it's a bit scary and daunting. I feel like I'm a bit scared. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like the next stage and there's some things that I really want to do in the next stage, you know, and come back to doing a bit of the hobby, other bits of what I love as well, and just bringing everything together and merging. And that's something I've been trying to do um, onto the one platform of this is me, this is who I am, this is what I do. <laughs> if you want to follow along, follow. If you don't, okay. For everyone that does follow, I want to hear their stories and hopefully help them and they can help me and just collaborate and just grow. It's funny how nowadays like everyone, no matter who they are, like, you can just go on the internet, make a video and pops your uncle like you're there, you know? You can build an audience and people know you, but I want to be known for the right reasons and for doing what I love and um, for sharing that and talking to other people and building a community and connect connection. That's what I really want to do. So the fact that I could do a little bit of that when I was younger, that's great. And now I want to do it again when I'm older, but in a bit of a different way. And one thing I want to leave with BookTube is the fact that I am writing a series. I am writing a series. I'm writing solo books as well. I'm writing a lot of things and I would really love to share that with booktube. The books that I'm currently writing is funny because when I said um, I was on a live with my best friend recently, one of my greatest friends on booktube, Roger, um, he was like, oh, um, you writing? Like, how do you fit that into your busy schedule? I'm like, I am, I do. It's been going on. One of the first questions is, is what are you writing? What are you doing? Like, what are, what are, what are you writing? Never really want to speak about exactly what I'm writing or what genres I'm writing because I feel like it's a, almost a curse on myself or if I speak too loudly about it, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> One of them that I am writing that I want to be my first work that if I can manifest to get published, first work or first series is fantasy. It would be an absolute dream to get that published. Like, you have no idea. Because that's something that I feel really passionate about and it's a whole new world. World, booktube hasn't seen yet so it'd be so good writing for me is probably one of the bestest escapes that I've always had and it comes with reading because I've always said this in a way but books and words mean more to me than anything sometimes people are like Miranda stop living in a fantasy like stop you know like because <laughs> sometimes scenarios and what I imagine and stuff like that it's like I'm in a book myself to write something and to share that with people and have them share in your world and you know what you're bringing out I just that's just an absolute dream and goal like that's where like I'd be the most happiest because I'm a filmmaker myself so producing and you know working on that coming to life you know so another audience can see it through film would be stunning mm. for me it's never been about I want to be the next JK Rowling no 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 and no that's just not what it's about for me you know even if you get an audience of reckon 10 people who read those books but those 10 people you know take something out of it and are inspired in other ways to maybe write themselves or see something in there just something that they can pick up from it and go ha that was good or I haven't read something like that before or this is brilliant if I can at least do that that would be amazing so after Ripsat ended I didn't even get the time to read a lot of the books that I've wanted to especially that are on my shelf on my TBRs I'd like to share with you what I have read what I have hauled and also some TV shows that I have watched. One thing I really wanted to do when I came back was um, do some like series reviews, like actual book to movie adaptation reviews. Oh, finally. I was on Ember in the Ashes, like the Ember in the Ashes series. I got up to from Reaper at the Gates and I had to put it down and I haven't gone back into it. I felt like this series was very, very 
high fantasy. I love it. I really do. Like, I think it's just a great world, but I had to put it away for a bit because it just got too much, too high fantasy, and my head was exploding. All the knowledge that I had to take in, plus everything that was going on at the moment. Mate, like, you do have to be in the mood to read it. And something else that also came out whilst everything was going on chain of iron i am so excited for this you can see the price tag is still on as i always keep it on huh eee! you got some cool shit in there since i think this is the collector's first edition as i set myself from june onwards i really want to get back into between chain of gold because i read chain of gold when it first came out so now i'm going to read chain of iron and then my goal is to do a review on both like a jewel review that's that's my goal with, with reading and books. One thing that I bought for myself as well during this time is this. I saw this on TikTok. The Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but this edition with all like the bloody cool pop outs and it is insane. Like, I love this edition of Harry Potter. So I got that for myself as well, which it's funny because I've been still trying to get my mum to read Harry Potter. I want her to dive into a fantasy world before I give her any of my own writing to read because she's not a fantasy junkie at all. I want to start her off with something that everyone knows. And also something that I hauled was these little banners. The retail store that I work at has like another store off it that's like a you know stationary store they were going to throw these away these were on display and they were going to throw them away so i've literally got ravenclaw gryffindor slytherin sounds weird and hufflepuff na 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 your your home is my bookshelf like no way and i'm like <laughs> literally anything else that you ever get just give it to me yeah and in terms of tv shows Recently, um, which I know people in booktube would know, I watched Shadow and Bone on Netflix. I don't own the copy of the book, but I know people who have read it. So I know a little bit about it. Oh my God, it is great. Just seeing the adaptation come to life, I don't really know like what everyone else is saying about it or talking about it uh, to this day. Like I'm still a bit like, ah! From what I've seen, it is bloody good. Like I loved it. I loved it so much and I really want to do a, a series review on it and read the book and then talk about the comparisons. That would be amazing. But let me know, let me know if you've read the book, what you do think about the series. Cause obviously I don't know the comparisons as of yet. Even something that I've really enjoyed watching that's not necessarily a fantasy, but I have watched Selena, the way like the little stories that they put in there and the way that was done, especially the ending was really respectful. So let me know what you've been doing, how you've been going. I really would love to know, you know, all the people that I kind of met that are brand new as well. Like, let me know, how are you going? What are you doing? What are you reading? Also, if you do have any suggestions for videos, leave them down below. Any new tags? Are there any new really good books to read? Like, I'm talking like mediocre fantasies that I'll understand. Oh, that's another book that I really wanted to read after by Anna Todd, because I watched the movie as well. And I was going to do a comparison. Is the book worth reading? Like, has anyone, has anyone read after? I found their romance to be so hot in the movie that I was like, oof. I cannot wait also to bring Ribsat back again for another round because last round was so successful. So I absolutely enjoyed it and I love everyone's enthusiasm. So thank you so much for, you know, being enthusiastic about bringing that back. I'm Miranda. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>